here at Croke Park this afternoon, being introduced uh, to the public here at Croke Park by Michal Amurahirthi. I'm sure Canning also has some thoughts. Thank you, Michael. As you see, many of them hail and hearty. Winners over Kilkenny in the semi-final in what was Corrigan Park in Belfast back in 1943. And they came here, were beaten by Cork in the All-Ireland final that year, a Cork side that included, of course, Christy Ring and also, of course, Jack Lynch. Many terrific uh, names. Unfortunately, some of them missing this afternoon. Led there by the uh, team captain, Jimmy Walsh, and Michal Amarohertig is introducing them to the attendants here. He was the centre half back. So the team captain been introduced first. Great name for a hurling goalkeeper, John Hurl, Antrim goalkeeper that year, 1943, and his uh, brother Charlie here representing him. John Butler. Jimmy Walsh, the captain, played at centre back with the left half back that day was Pat McKeown. And they really do look well, 50 years on. A lot of power can still fit to play was Jackie Bateson. His partner that day was the late Noel Campbell, whose brother Sean is here to represent him. Shohei Sean Campbell, Trahar Lanulli. Noel Campbell and Jackie Bates are in midfield. The half-forwards that day, Paddy McGarry played on the right. Shohei Paddy. Centre-forward, the late Danny McKillop, whose nephew Danny is here today. Left half forward in that Antrim team of 50 years ago was Joe Mullen. <laughs> if a three dear Daryl Wyrden was Kevin Armstrong and his son Kevin is here to represent him. Kevin Junior. One of the great names, of course, in Antrim hurling. Full forward was Danny McAllister. And left corner forward was the late Sammy Mulholland, whose grandson Damien is here today. Younger generation represented here as well, representing Sammy Mulholland. The late John McNeil was on that panel as well, and his sister Rosemary is here. The late Thomas Walsh is represented by his nephew Hugh. The late Donald Boylan is represented by his niece, Siobhan Gross. <laughs> Billy Best was on that panel, and Billy Best is here himself. He was one of the substitutes. And the late Seamus Nipper Quinn is represented by his son, Raymond. There's clearly no Nipper. So the Antrim 1943 team. It was a big, big upset, of course, back in 1943, beating Kilkenny at Corrigan Park. But they just failed to make it, however, in the final against Cork. 1989, of course, that was their only time to reach the final and compete for the Liam McCarthy Cup. So a proud moment for them all. And them looking hale and hearty. Some nephews, some brothers, some nieces and so on as well. And here come Galway. <laughs> 